Hi, this is um, going to be a hopefully a short tutorial to show you how to use the um, to basically uh, two things to store login credentials in the Firefox web browser and also um, to store them securely uh, using its built-in primary password utility. Um, the reason why you'd want to use the second one is that it um, protects um, your sensitive login credentials and potentially uh, stored uh, credit card account information um, from uh, people that you either don't want to see it or it may be a thief that steals your, your laptop. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Um, Go ahead and open Firefox. <clears throat> and uh, just kind of to show you where we're s starting here, we'll go into settings and we'll go into privacy and security. And we will scroll down here to logins and passwords. And right here is the primary password. And by default, uh, it is not enabled in Firefox. So um, it will offer to, to store your logins and passwords. And um, it, it will also, by default, offer to generate strong passwords. Um, but it doesn't offer to protect them uh, by default. Uh, it doesn't prompt you to set this, basically. Uh, and then similarly, this is also enabled, autofill credit cards. Um, and that's something you, you, you know, if you, unless you set this, you probably don't want this set. Um, anyway, getting back to, um, to this. So what we'll do is we'll go to a, a site uh, that requires login credentials. Uh, I have created an account on this um, uh, image gallery for uh, the SDF uh, computer group. And we'll go ahead and click login. And you see, you know, it's this typical uh, login screen. There's a username and password. Sometimes this is an email. Sometimes it's just the username. In this case, it's the latter. And to make this a little bigger here, let's bump this up a little bit. So there's my username and my password is stored. And you can click Remember Me, but I don't think it's going to matter. So we'll just click OK. And this is the, the default. It, uh, the login is successful, and it says, hey, here's your username. Here's your, your password. Uh, and you can either click Save or Don't Save. And then there's a, I guess there's no other options under Don't Save. So we'll click Save. OK, so now these um, the login credentials are saved. So I'm going to to log out and uh, we'll go home and we'll uh, clear everything. And then we'll we'll go back to that site. <clears throat> and we'll come to login. And you see how it's auto-filled, right? There's my password. Um, it is not, uh, it's obscured here, uh, but it, it is legit. And if we click OK, we've, we've logged in. So we'll log back out, go home again, close this stuff, or clear this stuff, and we'll go into settings. And if we come down here, boop, 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 boop. See, it's still not set. Um, but if we click on Saved Logins, you'll see, there it is. Um, there's that site. Here's my username. And all I have to do is click on this eyeball here, and I can display my password. Um, so that's not really cool. Uh, and you know, and they, anybody that gets uh, logs into your laptop or steals it and has has your your laptop password, 
Uh, we'll get right in here and the, this is the first thing they're going to do is be looking for sensitive stuff here. So what to do about that? Well, we, uh, th the solution is to where are we? Yeah, the solution is to set this. So we'll click this and this is the primary password setup. Uh, there is no, uh, we've never used it before, there, so there isn't currently a password. So we'll, we'll enter this and you can, it doesn't, you can use spaces. So I would suggest using um, a, uh, a phrase that is something that you can easily remember, but not, it, other people couldn't easily guess. So maybe this is something, you know, uh, a close friend said to you when you were a kid or who knows what it is. So I'm going to enter something. And then we'll go to the next one and enter the same thing. And if they match, and then down here you see password quality meter, and the farther over to the right this bar is, the stronger your password. So let's we'll click OK. And if everything goes good, you'll get this little window password change succeeded, primary password successfully changed. OK. So we'll go home here and we'll open up the thing. Bookmarks. Go back to our our uh, gallery site and we'll click login and oh you know what it uh, because I've already entered the uh, the primary password it's not prompting so here let's let me close that and try it again See, and now, now uh, it it prompts you for this uh, password required with Zillow Firefox. Please enter your primary password. And you notice this this little window. You can move around. You can still see these things, but you can't interact with this site until you do something with this. Now you can either cancel, and now you can come here and you could enter your stuff. But you notice it's not auto filling or we can reload this and you can get the password thing again and we'll enter our primary password. See, and if you entered that successfully, then it, this stuff autofills here. And then if we click OK, we are logged into our image gallery. And uh, so that's basically uh, Using your uh, your uh, your primary password. Now we can log out of here, and say um, we've uh, we've changed something. We forgot the password or something, right? So I'm going to click forgot my password, and I'm going to enter my. my email address and there's the confirmation I'm gonna to go to my email here and you can see you've requested a new password so we'll click that and this should open Firefox okay Now it sent me a, a new temporary password. Here it is. We'll copy that. And we'll go back here and we'll backspace through there and we'll we'll paste our new password in there. We'll click OK. And Firefox is far enough to realize, hey. I've got some stored credentials for this site, but you've changed it. You've changed one of these fields. And, uh, you know, you can see your, your new password is obscured. But if we click 
come over here and click update now we're you know we're logged in and if we uh, we log out and try to log back in it should work um, yeah, it's not, see, it's not prompting because we're, we've already entered the primary password. You only need to do it once per session. So we'll click OK. And see, we're, we're in. We're logged in with our, our new temporary password. And probably somewhere in here, I could change my, um, my password to something else. And uh, yeah, and that's basically that. We can go go home we'll clear all this stuff and uh, just uh, here I'll show you how you could view this stuff now that it's protected by our, uh, our Firefox primary password we scroll down here to um, where was it all right there we are saved logins see it and now it's it's prompting for your primary password, which we'll enter. Okay, and there's our site. And then if I want to view this password, it'll prompt again. And there's my new password. And then once I hide it, I think it may, okay. I, It'll let me toggle that on and off uh, within this session. But if I click forget everything, then it'll force me to do it again. Yeah. So anyway, that is uh, primary passwords. And if you, you know, say uh, you're finding this too cumbersome and you want to just stop using a primary password, uh, we would come here and we would unclick and it'll prompt you for your current primary password. So I'll enter that. And it'll, it'll say, uh, password change succeeded. You've deleted your primary password. Stored passwords and private keys will not be protected. And you can see if you go in here, you know, you can just toggle this on and off, but you know, at will. Uh, hence the the value of using a, a primary password anyway uh, I hope that helps and uh, that is the end of our tutorial thank you very much